Good morning, dupes, and hey, howdy, folks. This is Noble Rambler, and welcome to another episode of Oxygen Not Included, where we're just starting our day, and looks like we've got uh, quite a bit of a harvest going on. It's also a replant, so we're going to be busy for a while. And I have seen Ebony green-faced over and over again the last several episodes, and I don't understand why. If you guys know, let me know, because I have studied this and studied this. We're dirty hands and grimy. Um, jazzed to start the day. Okay. Uh, dirty hands, grimy, delivering. As far as stats go, <clears throat> actually, where's the health? Right there. Health 100%. Um, I don't get any sense of a sickness. And the others have got dirty hands and grimy as well, but they never turn green. So I wonder if that is a little bit of a bug with uh, with with this character, in the sense that um, also I noticed that the the showers never finished. They always go just a little bit and they leave, even though we've got all the water we could possibly need, or is it ten kilograms waiting? And there's lots of capacity in the waste pipe leaving but I've never seen any of them complete a shower this series so there's two questions I've got is if any of you who play the game on your own if you have any any answers any suggestions for that um well we can answer one right now we, even though she's not listed as having any kind of a disease we could put in a what was it called an apothecary yeah we can drop this one in where have we got Easy access to power. Research complete. I'll pause a second. Will we be wanting to put food across here tapped into this system? I don't think so. I think if we're going anywhere else for food, we're going sleet wheat out in the cold area. So let's drop this in right here. Um, try that one again. I want to see it actually happen this episode. We'll, we'll set it at an 8 and see where we get with that. There's a, quite a few things I want to try to get done. Some things didn't get done last time. Uh, power... But I am curious why she is always looking sickly. But there's no explanation for it. Uh, I did that wrong too. Priority nine, eight. That guy. All right. So that's that. Over here, we spent at least three, maybe four cycles getting this thing built. <laughs> it was ridiculous because I. You know, in order to, to fight them through this one as fast as possible, I shut down eventually all uh, um, massage beds and shut down right right here. Just killed the massage and killed the power. That's what they were spending all their time doing because they were in the 30s and 40s. So that was their biggest distraction. They came over here and they got to building. But then before we got the last little bits done, they were so wiped out and getting close to that 60% mark that I then had to take a day or two just to you know, nurse them back to health. Finally got in finished at least this much. So we've got all of this set up as nines right now for them to come in and take this out. I've got, one of the biggest problems I had is that to get these last squares down here, they were unreachable because the water level was too high. So we had to take out a lot of the, of the, the, of the what we got down here? Rock, igneous and obsidian in here. We had to take all this out that was up in this area to drop the water level down because it was up in here. You know, it was it was actually just starting to get up. It was entering this square here, about a quarter of the way up this square, so it was touching the door. So took all that down to get down low enough so they can work down here. So I'm hoping we take this down far enough they'll be able to reach down here. If not, then we're going to have to come up with another plan or just ignore it and, and you know, know that we're going to have a little bit of heat issue here constantly in, in this pool of water but we've built our ladder down they're going to bust all this out we're going to get this put in then we've got to decide what to do here if the water level stays down we can take this out put uh, more of the insulated tiles in then maybe over, over here we'll put uh, another two runs of regular walls I call this the end of the base and two runs everywhere that we're going to take all the rock out and we are really hurting for copper right now so we'll probably have to do that. Well, at least up to there. I don't know that we're going to have water up that high. We could though. I might 
put into right at this point here just as, as a placeholder to remind me later to not build anything there. But that is one of the projects they're up to. When this gets done, then we can start turning all this stuff back on again. Now, these guys make natural gas, which drops down. It's heavy. So we could put in... Uh, I have kind of did this so that this would be able to drop below it and get the natural gas contained into this space. We may also put a wall up here and a door to make sure, but we could kind of contain this a bit. Natural gas will drop. Problem is, what is going to be the final level for the uh, for the polluted water? At which place, you know, above that, I could put a couple of pumps to pull the the natural gas out and run into a natural gas generator. So that's a possibility over here for an episode or two from now. Um, Got to look for one more dupe. Let's do that real quick. Let's see what we've got. Because so I've got one more name of someone that's asked to be part of the series. I don't see enough learning in here, though. What do we have here? Two learning, two strength, two athletics, two cooking. That's not bad. That's a new face. It's negative 15 and negative 3. These are good. He's a vomiter, but they all do something. You know, whether they're a destroyer or a you know, destructor, whether they are an ugly crier, they're a binge eater, there's always some negative. Flatulent, that could be fun. <laughs> Diver's lungs is nice, though. Um, uh, this duplicate may have been a, a talented opera singer in another life. Air consumption, minus 25 uh, grams per second. So that is a good quality. I'm tempted to do this one, just to get that last uh, name into the... Uh, into the game. Hmm. Don't like the negative five. I don't like the no learning at all. Let's do that. Let's do that. So this one is going to be named... What have we got here? Mountain Dew FR. I don't know what the FR stands for. But we'll do the MNT and then DEW and then capital FR was the name I was asked to use. So Mountain Dew you're in and welcome whoopee <laughs> print all right i didn't read the, the little saying underneath but you can back up and hit pause and do that because i missed that anyway mountain dew you are not going to art you're otherwise we're good good enough for now okay so that is 11 which means 12 rooms minus one so we need to get this one moved up in priority a little bit but though I do want to get this one done soon and there's something else I want to get done soon too now there's nothing that you guys can do to get trapped down here right I don't think there is there's an escape on both sides so I don't think I need to babysit this at all right you can't build your head into well if you're standing right here and they build this one then you could build your head into a wall yeah they, they do have their duped moments so it is possible Oh, I saw that and thought that was a head. <laughs> what is that? That is a thimbleweed seed. Thimble reed seed, not a thimbleweed. Okay, so you guys have got this under control. You're starting to get our layer. Does it tell me now? Now it's unreachable because it can't get to it. Okay. I'm curious to see if these are going to be unreachable when that is all exposed. They only go a certain depth down below the water before they refuse to dive back in here. But we did get this one sealed. I... I Pour it apart a little bit from what you saw last time to give us a, a consistent look. I would rather have had, I guess, this on the outside. That would have been better. And it would have built better, too. I got to think about that afterward. This builds so much faster. We probably could have put in two layers rather quickly and got that third one going. And it would have made it. Don't know. But we'll carry this look all the way up into here. To, you know, at least two walls worth. So I don't intend on busting any of this out, but... Just going to make sure we've got some stability there. I don't see any reason to deal with it over here, though. We're not going to... Unless we do start to get into here and start uh, uh, taking any of this out of here. Um, we're just looking at granite and obsidian. So, igneous, sandstone. Not looking any copper. There's some gold down here. We could get down below and do something. There's, yeah, we probably will to get the algae out of here. Um, but that's not for now. So... You guys can be safely doing this, right? I think so. 27%. Tomislav 
Alexander Murphy Natalia. Need to be on beds. Are you? Um, Nettie is diving in there. There's Natalia. There's Alexander. And who's going for the other one? That looks like Murphy. There he goes. Oh, he's got a look of, oh, woe is me. <laughs> That's your change there, didn't it? Ah, much better. All right. So, yeah, they're, they're being taken care of. We're going to be okay. So let's get into this. I wanted to get into this last time, but we had a little bit of a distraction. What we've got here, I kind of, I built a lot of it, or laid out a lot of it, but I wanted to finish laying it out uh, so you guys can watch some of it. But basically, these guys right here, electrolyzers, will release oxygen and hydrogen as they run into the air. The hydrogen will rise, pushing the oxygen down. So eventually we'll get more, mostly oxygen down in this area, mostly hydrogen up in this area. And we're going to take out this area here so that it would naturally rise into a dome. And that dome is going to be the gas pump that pumps it back out. It's going to pump it into a filter, which is going to select just the hydrogen and send it this way. Anything that's not hydrogen, supposedly only oxygen, but there will be other randomness in here for quite a while, will run down and drop next to this, fan, this uh, pump over here. So as the hydrogen is selected and sent out, it's going to go into this valve, which acts as a, like a pressure valve. We can turn it down because the hydrogen generator only uh, uses 100 grams per second. So I can tone it down to about that, and it'll send it down in 100 gram globs. It'll choose half of it go this way, half go this way, and drop into these two guys, which are the hydrogen generators. So at that point, what was I about to say? Hydrogen generators. Anyway, so what doesn't come down is most likely going to be oxygen. This guy is going to grab oxygen out of the air. And I figure if we're going to dump it out of this into some place, may as well dump it right next to the, uh, the, the pump that's going to actually take it out of here into a filter, which is going to grab the oxygen and send it out to the base. And what isn't oxygen is most likely going to be hydrogen, which I will send back up and dump off near this guy. It's kind of the loop, kind of a figure eight that we're going to run here. So whichever one collects it, is going to most likely either use it or deposit it near the one that is actually going to use it. That's my, my train of thought there. Plumbing, let's kind of finish this guy up. So we're going to grab a gas pipe from here into the filter, which is going to filter oxygen out. I'll take you right into, I'm going to zoom out a little bit so we can see what's going on, right into the wall, which is going to take it down into the base. That didn't work. There we go. So we're going to take the oxygen down. Where to, we'll figure out later. Otherwise, what isn't oxygen is most likely going to be hydrogen. So I want to take that up into this area here. So we, need, we know we're going to need to end in a vent. Probably right there. Let's take a pathway. Can't cross these guys without a bridge. But we could do something like that and then bridge and the inlet so we're coming from down here so the inlet will be like so so bridge over and then we'll finish the pipe here just like that so oxygen gets sent this way what isn't oxygen we'll travel back up bridge over and drop out here to hopefully suck into this guy and be sent down into the pumps and vice versa so that is concept behind this system because it's going to be a lot of oxygen in here this is your best place to put your wheels and a few, a few decor pieces here to make this a happy place and they can sit in here and spin and not worry about running out of oxygen getting a big carbon dioxide build up because we're gas permeable tiles in here and there so it's going to travel in and out of this area and any hydrogen that is out loose in this area will be working its way up through as well and working its way up into here or more, more likely into there, which gets eventually pumped to here. So that's the idea behind that. I still can't tap into this yet until I've got a way to con you know, control the 1,000 grams per, per, uh, 
per second that's going to explode out of every one of these squares in this area. So that's the idea. I just don't know if I can use it. Um, it'd be easier to do the same thing into a place like this so that I can build it from scratch. There's no pressure. There's nothing that's going to contaminate anything. And we we'll just start running the electrolyzers and eventually they're going to build up the hydrogen and eventually it's going to concentrate enough to where it'll function without the explosive decompression that's going to happen when I pop the circle right here and it just floods into the whole base. So that's why I'm, I'm hesitant to move forward with that plan. We do need to move forward with this one though. Get this water pumped through to run these electro electrolyzers. Or we duplicate the same idea down here using this pump to pull this water into it which will also run oxygen and hydrogen and create power here. I'm leaning toward this one. We've got enough algae here to, and we're out right now, to run our oxygen for quite some time. And then we have enough slime here, between here and here and other places to make more algae later to run these guys. So, we have a little bit of a contamination problem going on here. You got taken down, and nobody has come in to refill you. That's why. And you are all going to head up through our base. This did get turned back on. We were kind of filling this area up. Um, it wouldn't hurt to put one more in just to kind of clean up the air in this area. Imagine uh, working in a sulfur pit. You ever, you ever smelled sulfur? It's it's nasty. <laughs> it's flatulence to the 10th power. <laughs> anyway, how are we doing over here while I was doing all that talking? Okay, we've gotten in far enough to determine that this is not unreachable. It would be a big, red, angry, unreachable right here. So that's not too much water to get down and do this work. Good. That's why I shut these guys down. They're producing this water. And they were producing it fast enough to raise the level on me to make this one not available. That's why I had to stop and, and rethink that. All right, so that's going on. This is concept right here. This may not be reality. What else is happening before we decide our final plan here? Um, I had laid this out. The thought was that there'd be three rows of wall there three here and one two three here build this thing so that it will never tear down never never degrade and then we can take away layers as we need to, to let water trickle in and do what we want to do if i don't take all this out then i only need two layers i just don't know that i'm ever going to not take it out i mean there's a lot of good stuff in here we're going to want eventually hmm do I build a three or do I just build two and get, get going on it? That's what I'm debating right now. I didn't want to build it here. Or we're going to have another here on our hands. It's just too close to high pressure. What is the pressure in here? Oh, yeah, we're only a thousand in here. That was so weird that it went to, uh, to 9,000 over on the other side. That was really strange why I did that. And really all that would happen at first is that this would just start running in. And it wouldn't build up pressure. Hmm. Now I'm going to leave it just like that. If I have to, later we can move the ladder over. Build a compartment here with a door or something. And then go in and bust all this out. Flood into here to a new pump which is lower and abandon this if this turns out to be too uh, high to the water level. I'm guessing that this would have built up far more water had it not been contained. And it would have, we'd be up to here right now for, you know, it's been running for 132 cycles. So I'm guessing that this will spill into here, probably more looking at more like that when it's all done. Yeah, probably so. We can take this up higher into here if we need to and actually try to seal it off if that ever becomes a problem. Okay, so let's 
start digging this out too. I'm going to go with eights for now. There. There. And there. We're not going to get into this. It's all going to be done within and then right there. Okay. Not touching that guy. Yeah, that'll work. So, water's going to come out of here. At this point, it's going to run... We oh, it's, it's already built. That's why it's hidden in there. Okay. Um, it's going to run through from hot water source down there into this area. And through... I'm going to try just one pass and then start dumping into this. And we'll get cool water flowing down into this area. Hopefully, in time before this pump dries, you know, runs dry. So that's probably the, that would be the next priority right now if we weren't waiting for this to get done, but it is actually happening. So this will be done hopefully this episode. So if that's the case, I mean, I could kick the, kick the speed up right now and let that happen, but I may as well be planning out what's going to happen down here. Maybe I will duplicate this concept, but do it down there. We'll actually build it down there and get to see it happen from scratch. The initial buildup of hydrogen all the way up. Um, power right now, it's, I was going to say it's happening. It's not ideal. I mean, we're having to run wheels. I've only got one wheel at a nine on each circuit. And it's giving us enough power to get through the day. So we're committing two people to that. I'm seeing a lot of buildup in here. I'm kind of uncomfortable with that. Let's turn you up to a nine. Let's make sure that you get some sand. We start cleaning this area up. Yeah, I, I don't like the look of that. And what is, why are we getting so much more carbon dioxide in here? This was no carbon dioxide from this level up an episode or two ago. So what has changed? Why are we building up? These guys did not get... Yeah, I've, I've shifted everything down to 7 and 8s, and I just can't get anything done. Because now all the free time is going into this project, 9s. I need these projects to be running at the same time as maintenance is still done on the important things. And Otherwise, I need to just babysit this and say, okay, let's do this group right now at 9s. Okay, that's done. Let's do this group now at 9s. It's hard to run unattended this game it just it just doesn't seem to work for me it might work better if i were to set three people to do nothing but but deliver and three people to do nothing but build and three to do nothing but dig and then three more you know two more to do nothing but what power or something maybe that's a way to go i've done that in my own games and it's failed miserably so Here's an example of something that we haven't seen yet in this game. If you, or this series, if you don't harvest them, they will eventually dry up, and then they will eventually just drop their uh, their meal lice to a pile right there on the ground. So you can go without harvesting them. What I worry about over here is while it's waiting to harvest, it's still pumping water in like crazy. It's like it's still accepting the water to grow it even though the growing is done so while i'm waiting for another couple of cycles to go by for these to just drop off on their own and start to regrow the next round we've shot a whole bunch of water that was not necessary we're not getting any value out of that water when the seed is not planted the water does come to a stop but as long as there is a plant in there it just keeps dumping it and i'm still confused about this it's dumping it in 10 kilogram globs you know, coming into here. He's only used 20 kilograms a day, if I recall. Let me read that again. Um, where did it say that? Irrigation. Absorbing 2%. Change per second. It Was, was it here? You're here somewhere. Harvest air pressure, temperature... Bristle berry effects water. They want 20 kilograms per day, per cycle. Yet, you can see how fast these are dropping in. We're getting 100 of these going in each day. And they all seem to be 10 kilograms each. So, unless I am completely wrong in how I'm reading this, and you can correct me in the comments if you would, but it seems like there's something broken here. I've even taken these down to 1 
kilogram basically per day uh, per per second coming out of here so each of these are supposed to be uh, one you know 970 grams at a time but it's still coming out of here 10 kilograms so I don't get what's happening there I call that a bug unless I'm interpreting it incorrectly but um, we're gonna run out of water too quickly if we aren't careful so have I missed anything before we start diving down into here explain this a little bit not gonna do that but I went through the concepts of it this is the biggie right now and yeah, they should they should be done with that soon we'll get into this some other episode yeah let's get into here okay so out of here what do we have for a natural barrier natural dome sort of building one right here in a sense yeah let's mark all this for dig no let's let's shape it huh let me think here because so I want it I would want to clean out all of the algae and and uh um, slime and, and clay and whatnot first and then go in and build a dome into here what do you do with the rest of it I would say it could be a smaller contained space although because I don't know what's going to happen here it would probably be better if it was more to this side huh I think so there's even more uh, hydrogen to tap over here it's an idea that is an idea we could once we get this done we could tunnel sideways into this, which is not an issue. It's just uh, um, polluted oxygen. I'm calling it very toxic, and yet it's still labeled oxygen. Interesting. But then tap into here and blow this and whatever this connects to sideways into here to give us a little bit of a start. So, yeah, I think over here would be that area. I um, guess we could just kind of play with it right now with... A shape that's kind of like so. Um, yeah, a little further, like so. Uh, how far do we go to make this look some kind of symmetrical? Is that it there? That's it there. Okay. So down into there. Don't know how far. We'll just have to clean out all the. Everything that's in between there. Though I would want to clean a lot of this out first so we can drop this polluted water down into here. We could drop it into uh, We got another geyser. <sighs> another one down there. Which isn't a problem except that it's going to be hot and it's going to be pressure. We're going to have to be sure to build our walls around it and seal it all in. Yeah. Okay. But let's continue just mapping out this concept here um tell you what we'll put the dig symbols in later let's get so it's not so distracting so you can uh, you can see i'm doing this for really for the uh for the uh the folks who don't have the game i'm just kind of curious how it all works so a lot of you who have played before this is this is pretty basic stuff but let's get into a way to grab the hydrogen off of the top to begin with so that would take a place somewhere up in here I have done two before two side by side and I found out that I can't make enough hydrogen to keep even one of them busy let alone both so I'm just gonna go with one right now and to make the hydrogen we're gonna in a sense mirror this one too bad I can't uh, prison architect this thing and just copy this whole area and just paste it in down here that would really be nice but we'll look at all the individual parts. So somewhere down in... Hmm, another problem. I'm running out of copper. Okay. We will pretend <laughs> that we have got uh, gas permeable tiles. Let's do that. Alright, so some kind of a surface to put... What room in here? How much room did I give up, that, up there? Although I had the problem with these guys. I didn't want to pull them out of here. I thought I would just run ladders up to them and actually grow them in place. And, you know, we can maybe plant these guys if that's considered a seed. But uh, we'll leave the plants in place. But, um, so I... Also, we had kind of an odd shape here. But height-wise... Alright, I don't need a lot of room. 
Let's see if we can do this here. Whoops. Power. Let's set two of these guys in. Ah, uh, we'll put a space between. And... Actually, cancel you. I want to move you both... Boy, come on now. There we go. I'm going to move you both over one. Right there. Right there. Stress is fine. Food is fine. Done with that. Okay, I'm not seeing anything to worry about there. Okay, and I was going to kind of decor this area. And we'll put a statue in there. Why won't you? Must build on solid ground. Yeah, I know, but... Oh, it's right there. I didn't. It didn't give me a click. I had no feedback. I didn't know that didn't happen. And then a flower vase there. Yeah, something like that. So, a place for them to come into an oxygen-rich area to run the wheels to kickstart the whole system if we actually run out of power and nothing to get the, the electrolyzers going, which would be probably right above. So again, pretend these are gas permeable tiles, like so. And then electrolyzers, oxygen. So these guys are going to make, and we could run right up against the wall, that shouldn't be a problem. Well, I'm just thinking about the plume that's going to come out of there. Let's go there and there. Okay, these guys are going to make the oxygen and hydrogen. So that's going to come up this direction. We're going to want to grab the oxygen. So that would be plumbing pump right there. Probably down lower, like so. That would work. And then we're going to want to feed the hydrogen out of these guys into a couple of these guys. So where to? We could even stack them on top of each other. They don't have to be side by side. If we did something like that and that. Does that work? Let's see if the wall fits in there or the floor. Yeah, something like that. Although, just to make it nice and even. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, start from the ground level and work up. So, what were we? Power? Hydrogen? Like so. Leave a space for a floor. And like so. Why are you not going in? Because I don't have a space for the floor. Cancel. Let's put the floor in first. So that actually is part of the generator. we got to go up to there. There we go. Cancel. Thank you. And power. You're going to go above. All right. So let's try running some piping and kind of see how this all works. We're going to come out of this guy, which is going to be collecting the hydrogen. I'm going to run down and separate. Uh, filter. Out of what comes out of there, we're going to grab the gas pipe. Uh, the, 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 out of the gas pipe, we're going to grab the hydrogen and run it down. Hmm. That'll work. No, 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 no. Go down like this. Go sideways and down like this and go sideways. All right. So what doesn't go down this pipe, what isn't hydrogen, is most likely going to be oxygen. And we want to run it out of this green over here. Across a bridge. And down into all oh, this area would work probably something like that. Okay, the oxygen that's coming out of these guys, I'm just debating right now whether it goes here or here. Doesn't really matter. I think that'll be fine. I don't want to suck it out too low, too close to these guys, or we're going to end up with less oxygen pressure down here while they're trying to breathe it to run these wheels. So I want to give them a bit of a break. Now, while this is all happening, that's why I run it at one speed. What's been happening otherwise? Ooh. Un oh, unbreathable, but it's not unreachable. Okay. Vacuum. <laughs> Try to get that in nature. Anyway, so we're going to run down here, finish the last one, and this is good. 
Now, would there be any reason to continue? Don't even really need these two. Except that we we're doing some serious cracking over here. I didn't know if there was a chance that once these guys went, that these would go and then these would go. And we were going to have a problem over here. Got to kind of watch this. Otherwise, um, water level is down. Let's bust this up. Deconstruct nine all. Let's take out these guys right here. This is sandstone. I'm going to take him out. Oh, no. Cancel that one. And that one. Let's just do one at a time. Let's get this out and get that wall built. Then we'll uh, deconstruct this guy and take uh, these guys into granite and probably take them up the side here. And then this guy is finished and ready to go. In fact, we could almost turn these back on right now. I think we could. Um, enable and make you an 8. All right. So there's that. Back over here. Right? We filled all this up with high, with carbon dioxide. Yeah, it's becoming unbreathable. What is going on? We're out of algae. Is that the big thing? We're out of we're out of air. Yeah, I'm down there talking and and uh, they're suffocating. Okay, well, we're abandoning that project right now. We've got to get algae, and really, what we need is we need to be digging into here. So, all right, cancel you and you. And let's dig as a nine. Okay, we're going to cancel those guys. All right, so priority nine. Like so. So that gets us through and into this area. And I would say, we're running? Now we are. So they're going to get the orders to do these and dig as a nine. I'm trying to do this without having them actually have to build anything like ladders. So if we can get them down into here, that'll grab quite a bit of, of uh, algae for now. Another pathway that's full of algae is what? It's a tiny bit right there. If we got further down into here, what have we got? We could do this. Sure, let's grab this area as nines. And then I would say let's get further down. That's dig. Well, I wonder if a dig nine there would change the priority of the ladder. Let's find out. If I take you all the way to the bottom, that was fives. It did not. Okay. So nines, take you guys right on down. From there, we can go sideways and get quite a bit of, of algae that's in here. All right. Well, that gets algae back on the table. And here comes Ebony to get this thing started. We've got pockets of oxygen in here. Can't get to them, though. We can get to them right there, and that's about it. You just picked up a... We don't know, and it doesn't say what they're carrying. That looks like algae. So I would say that's possible. We're at 114 all of a sudden. How do we go from 0 to 114? There's a little bit of algae there. These should be... Priority... 8s. Eh, we'll leave them as 8s. There's very little gain over there. We went further up into here. I stopped all this to stop their distraction. But let's go back to this. I wanted to go down because there was a bunch in here. Yeah, let's turn this back on again. Priority 9. All of you guys there. And we'll just do this big patch right in here. Now these were... Algae also, right? Well, the one was. Okay. So that should get... We're already at 200. Yeah, that should get oxygen flowing again. There it is right there. So that's what was going on. We lost our pressure. The carbon dioxide was taking its place. Because we lost all the all the air pressure. The oxygen pressure. Okay. Well, that, that explains it. And we'll be fine. All right. Back into here. So where were we? We were talking about oxygen. Okay. 
So oxygen, I think I'm going to let this episode run a little bit long because I want to actually finish a, a thought. I haven't been able to do that the last few episodes. All right. Oxygen out of this guy. So we're going to start here. We're going to... What's the way that makes it look good? Let's drop down into here. Now i got to think about ladders, too. Ladders will go through the duct, so we can ladder up this direction. We can ladder up the side here. All right, let's get those set in. We know we need to ladder up this guy. We know we want to ladder up this guy. How are we getting into this area? Tell you what, you go away, and let's floor across like that. That and that. All right. So we're going to ladder there. We're going to door probably over here. Best way to do that. Normally I door within the inside. And I might do that. After the episode's done, I may move all these over a little bit so I can door right into here. Because normally I put a, uh, a gas permeable tile up above and any hydrogen that makes its way in through the door and sit in between will eventually just work its way back up into it again. If any oxygen that, get, that escapes, that's fine. We need oxygen down here anyway. But basically, it'll be a concept like this. Drop down a couple. And let's cancel U2. Three, two. And drop in a manual door. If we're floating with, with power eventually, then we'll go to automatic doors. And then some kind of a gas permeable tile at the top that would let any hydrogen back in so if it accidentally got sucked in between the doors so that's the idea there so out of that would be plumbing and a filter a gas filter so we need to take what comes out of this pump and actually get gas get oxygen out of it just debating where to physically do this if we did it right there Means we got to come in through the white. I think that works. I think that works. Oxygen will drop down. My mouse is escaping my mouse pad. There we go. Drop down, come across through these, and then eventually work its way up into the base. You know, I don't want to mess up all the uh, everything here now, but it would work its way up and zigzag through all of this and up like so and eventually into the base all right so a huge source of oxygen is going to start working its way in otherwise what isn't oxygen would most likely be hydrogen which means i would probably drop it up into a place like this and let it dump into here if it is hydrogen it would be sucked in and dump into the generators so there's the the cycle that's similar to what was up there I need to get plumbing down into here to get water to run these guys so plumbing pipes I uh, don't need to worry about insulated at this point so we're coming out of our pump and probably a well, there there probably a similar path as the ductwork leaving so like so grab this guy and tap half of it would come down here half would go up in here and chill and cool off and drip into here. The part that doesn't get chilled is just going to be turned into oxygen and hydrogen anyway. So I don't think it'd be a problem there. I don't know if the temperature transfers when you're going when you're changing state from liquid to gas. So I don't know if the game will transfer that 125 degree liquid into 125 degree oxygen. I've never gotten to the point where I could study that to see if what the game does with that. Time you work evaporation into that, you know. There's, there's, a, there's a lot of physics there. It should not be a one-for-one one transfer like that, but I don't know what the game actually does. Then we would need to power out of here, and that's what kind of stopped me up here, too. We still need to think about this. This guy right here, the heavy watt wire, and I don't have enough copper or gold to really explain and, and demonstrate it right now, but it's a real thick wire. It runs 20 times as much power as these guys. So 20 kilowatts instead of 1 kilowatt. And it is considered a negative 25 decor, which isn't that bad. I was afraid of that at first when this update came out. But if you were to look at the, the uh, decor, 
of this clutter on the ground here, we're at a negative 182. So a negative 25 is not that scary. It's not good, but it's not going to send them into a, uh, you know, a psychotic, uh, crazed state just because they walk past it. So I'm not going to be super afraid of these guys, but they're quite expensive to build. And we don't have a lot of metal. The copper, from what I've been looking around on the map, um, where'd it go? That's the last of it. I haven't found any more. Now, here's what, well, it's nighttime. Let's buzz through nighttime real quick. There we go. Algae is this color in the slime biome. When you see algae in another biome, it will pick up a color like, oh, where are we? I know there's patches of it here and there. Now I can't find a single example of it. Come on now. No, not you there. So that's the same stuff. It's just a gray instead of a green. So what I'm curious about, and guys, you know, let me know if, you, if you've ever come across it. I've never seen it before. If copper looks like this in your home biome, is it out here somewhere else, but just a different look? Like here's algae. Is there copper anywhere else in the map, or are you really limited to just the starter area? So, otherwise, we're going to be going gold amalgam. We're going to have to go find that. There is iron somewhere, too. I've, I've had it before. I've not actually seen any of it in this series. So, I don't remember which biome it came out of. There's igneous rock. What are you? You're sandstone. So, there's a sandstone look. It's purpley instead of brown like in the other one. Iron, 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 iron. You're back to igneous. What are you? You're sandstone, igneous, sand. So iron will also allow you to, to act as a metal and, and uh, conduct electricity. That's coal. The cracked looking ice kind of stuff is coal. And you'll find that in different colors and different biomes. But I don't see any iron, so we don't have a lot of metal. Don't have any natural gas other than what we're producing ourselves. And this map is really limited. Really didn't roll a good map for this series. It is, unfortunately, there's no way to know. In fact, when you start the game the very first time, it creates the map in the background, then it asks you to make the uh, the three characters. So there's no way to put a seed in or anything. You you just get what you get, and you don't get to even see it until you've taken all the time to get the, get the game going. But I think I'm going to call this an episode. I'm going to get in here dig out some more algae. We're up down to, down to 45 again, so I'm going to start constructing some of this, get the algae being uh, hauled out of here so we can keep ourselves alive for a while food is looking fine stresses are fine yeah everybody's doing fine i want to get this bedroom done probably get that completed right there and get can we set this we can oh that got dense in there that's going to be a mess when we let that one out but i'm curious what if i built it from this side in Ooh, that's almost you know wise hmm let's try that you nine how fast do you guys do that they will deliver and build before they will dig so all those nines i've queued up right now or up till now do not supersede this so i'm not worried about those let's take this guy out which they seem to even do above and beyond let's see deconstruct um above and beyond uh this right here, these nines here. But let's get someone to run out this way. Let's build this one, build that one, and then build this one. Hopefully push all of this natural gas back into this void here. That would be good. These are running? They're not. Because they're eights, not nines. So yeah, I've got to go back and play with the priorities one more time, see if I can make this work. Anyway, you're going to deconstruct because you like to do that above and beyond anything else. The water ran out. Great. We're going to fill this in and delivered it and build it just like that perfect you granite but i don't want to lay the other ones out at nines yet because they'll come and build these guys and leave the void there um now what i have discovered i uh, at least what it appears to be if we build if how do i word this if i were to build a, a floor tile right there 
this coal would suddenly appear above it in the next space. But if there already is something above it, as far as I know, it vanishes. It just it ceases to exist. What I don't know is if I went back later and deconstructed this, if the stuff that was in this column, like this pile right here, would suddenly reappear again, if it's saved in a memory or not. So if you're really hurting for something like algae, and there's algae in here, you come in here and you sweep it before you build the walls through it. Because unless it has a place to pop out on top, and here we don't, it's no longer going to be either no longer going to exist or it's no longer going to be available until you deconstruct all of that. Come on, guys. Where are you at? Yeah, anyway. So we will assume that that worked just fine. We're going to call this one done. So this has been Noble Rambler. Thanks, guys, for watching, and I'll catch you next time. Bye-bye.